All right, check it out. So, you guys remember we did that hunt the other day? Well, here's our bunny. Cleaned up. We put him in a nice cornmeal. Actually, this is maseca, which is like a me type of Mexican cornmeal. See? We got him in pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to fry them now. Just until they get brown. So, let's check our... Turn down our heat here. We don't want it to get too crazy on us. And oh, there we go. We're cooking outside just because it's a little hot to be cooking inside. So we took our corn, our maseca. You can use cornmeal. This is what we had in the house, and we put salt, pepper, a little chili powder. You know, you could add anything you want to it. Make it as hot or as not hot as you want. We're gonna fry these guys a little bit. There's a leg, mostly. We took pieces of it. And we just coated them up with our mixture. There you go. We'll show you guys how we finish this off. All right, so we've been cooking these for the last five minutes now. And you can see we don't have our pan crowded. We don't want a crowded pan. And look at that. Mmm. Bits of rabbity goodness. Too bad you guys can't smell this. Remember Emerald? Emerald Lagasse used to say smell -o vision Well, this is where you definitely want smell -o vision Look at that. Mmm-mmm. Some of the rabbit we deboned. Uh, a lot of it, a couple of them, we just left the bone and we cut the legs in half. Look at that. See, so, just kind of leave it there, let them cook GDB. Golden, brown, and delicious. Well, we got our first batch done, and I don't know if you can see, get a zoom in on that. There's not that much oil on our paper towel, see that? And that's how you want to cook. See, these are beautiful. Golden, oop, there we go. Golden, brown, delicious bunnies. Yeah. Waste not, want not. You guys know, we cook what we eat here, we cook what we hunt. This is part one, I'll show you guys part two after we get this batch done. Well, about 20 minutes later, you see what we got? Golden delicious nuggets of bunny. And you can see we got some with the front legs, mmm. And the rear legs, I kind of took all the meat off and diced it all up and oh, look at that. All right, so next step what we're gonna do is we're going to cook this for an hour to tenderize it and make it as soft as possible. So what we do is you've got your inch of water in your pan in there. You get a good close up in there. And then you've got something to keep the food up off of, there you go, the bottom. So you see how that is? And we take our aluminum and we're going to kind of just, just like that, we're going to make like a suspension see and we're gonna take our bunny and we're just gonna layer all that in there and I saw this on another YouTube channel I think his name was um, meat trapper a guy by the name of meat trapper and then he called this steamboat beaver he made beaver out of it but we're gonna make rabbit out of it so we'll call this steamboat rabbit how's that so a nod to meat trapper his idea we're going to try it out he said that it's a great way to cook any type of hard, hard um, meat that's kind of like tough and there we go so take a look how we got that in there all right so what he says is we're going to cook it for about an hour. We'll try it for an hour and hopefully our rabbit won't get soaked. Uh, we have this on low. We're going to cover it up. We'll, bring, we'll be back show you guys what it looks like. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, look at that. Let's get a close up of that. Mmm. Rabbit. Ooh, look how soft it is too. Ooh, look at that. Fall apart. Man, I tell you. 
meat trapper was not lying. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can't wait to try this guy out. You know, it's funny. Every time I put a hunting video up, I was shooting game and showing you guys how to prepare game and be self-sufficient, I get the most amount of hate mail, oh man, like death to me type stuff from the tolerant, so-called tolerant left. Yeah, they love to hate you, or me. They love to hate us people that love to eat. You know, I would love to see what these scumbags eat every day. You know, they go to the supermarket and they get their pre-packaged meat already butchered for them. Hmm, I guess they don't think about that now, do they? I'm going to rant on a little bit more as we get our, look at that, our golden brown delicious pieces of bunny that, you know what, is all organic. Talk about organic. Hunters with the original organic eating movement, you know. And if it wasn't for hunters, there would be no game. Remember that. Just tell people that, you know. Because hunting puts value on wildlife. All you got to do is look at Africa, right? During the 60s and the 70s after the colonial period, the locals over there went nuts, killing everything that walked, ran, and slithered. That's why all these animals were on the brink of extinction. Oh. After, uh, you know, they finally realized, hey, you know what? Crazy people want to pay big bucks to hunt. Animals became worthy, worth something they had a price on their head they became worthy of conservation so instead of going out and killing the leopard that's you know or poisoning the leopard that was raiding their uh, their their pigs or their lambs they knew hey we can make a lot of money off that leopard just by having some people come over and start hunting so remember that people wildlife hunters are the biggest conservationists in the world yeah I know I'm ranting but hey look at that oh look at that pieces of golden goodness you see how we cooked that what a great idea look at that beautiful isn't it yeah well we're gonna go and we've got a little bit of salad make with this I'm gonna have this with some salad and uh, wish you guys were here to help us eat go out and do some hunting till next time What are you doing still watching this video? You gotta be out there, activating. Come on, get to work. Let's beat these gun grabbers. Now get out there and do something to promote your sport. Buy a gun, buy some ammo, do something. Write your commie rep.